Hello everyone, it's Wolverine Who here, and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play Sly 3 on Online Thieves. In this episode, we finished off episode 3 of Fly Fantasy. Now we got Penelope on the team. I thought she could have done at the start of episode 3, but yeah, she. Oh, well, we had that went about on last episode, so we'll go over it. But now we shall start episode 4 A Cold Alliance. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the thievious Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda... zenned out. Ah! Uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Burry, you're up first. If you can get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, do you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, I'm gonna I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Cause uh, I don't know. It's yeesh. A oh, shot, Penelope. Jeez. Okay, so it's always in. We need to look at the panicking now, cause apparently he's like the only one who's capable for the job. Okay, so. So yeah, we got enough in return for Sly One. It's as the other favor mine from that game. So I not complain at all. So yeah, we're now back in the fire in the sky. <laughs> wow, this is really nostalgic. You know, I only played the game like one or two months ago. <laughs> uh, anyways, so it's time for more. 
But first, we need to meet up with the panicking because currently he's in a deep meditation state. Probably trying to completely forget about all that, so. Yeah. Uh. So. Okay. Okay! I'm in position! Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each shoot down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. Good thing I installed a turret on this little... <sighs> oh, good lord. Penelope is in love with Sly. But... Bentley is in love with... Pen uh, Penelope, but Sly is, doesn't key care about Penelope. She cares about love triangle. Go away. Uh, so here's where we get first. Says plays one of Penelope's most often used gadget, the Thank RC you, car. I hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really. <laughs> Any time. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. I oh, forgot sake, Penelope, at least Sly's no, he doesn't give a flying crap about you. Ugh, I hate Penelope, but since I didn't have time to talk about it, yeah. Most time you play as Penelope's RC car, and Percy, I don't think we controls well. I think his her car handles a bit too stiffly, it controls a bit like a tank. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's, it does handle quite stiffly. Ugh. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Ugh. <sighs> okay, so... So, yeah. I think there's, right now, and there's literally only one time where we actually play as Penelope herself, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now we got, like, these fireworks on. Yeah, we're never that. Yeah. I'm not going to have much time to talk, am I? I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Okay. Now we gotta shoot down the fireworks with, of course, our darts. Because Bentley's a sniper. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, and of course, every time I fire, work up, it goes faster, so. Going pretty good with your timing here. There we go. No, so there's a minor giggle, but I don't like Penelope's voice. But being a smart gal, her voice always makes her sound really dull, like, Hey, I sound like, yes, hi, I'm Penelope, and I sound oh. Okay, I'll stop complaining about Penelope. Okay. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? How do I have? Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, fire. Okay, now it's time to get the guru to the panicking. Mm, you can possess the guards if you want to, but there's no point really. What you gotta do is just light those fireworks up, but. Yep. Don't buy me, I'm just gonna 
Do this. Wee. Woo 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 woo. Okay, now to like the other firework. Wee. Kaboom. Hi, hey, it's the bridge. Nice. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Hola, what it all? Yay! Huh. Oh, I can't think I forgot to say this, but you're probably wondering why can't we don't get a tower car yet? Well, we'll get that later, because what's always in episode 4 kind of has a prelude area here, which is what we're playing on now. Don't know why, but I guess it gives us extra more context on the panicking himself. Hey, let's go say hi to him. It has been three, three years after all. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No, it'll require channeling. Hi, what a dog. Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The guru will bridge your mind. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa, this is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool. Uh-oh. Okay, so... <laughs> we're fighting against the Panda King again. Okay, like this. It's like a week. We got like a recreation of original Psycho and Fuse for Cutis here. Don't worry, you don't have to completely beat up again. It's just gonna be in a bit again. So, yeah. No, we like for Psycho and Fuse for Cutis we make. This is all in your head. My mind is clear, focused on your destruction. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you, but that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal wouldn't have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but at 
deal's a deal. Okay! The Panda King is back, baby! A cold alliance. <laughs> oh, that... Yeah, that's cold indeed. But we're going to jump straight into a slideshow, so I'll let Bentley do the talking. We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's dog, Jane King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sal. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy twice. He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sal's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything out the chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. So, as you can see, the Panda King has a daughter. I wonder who is his wife. <laughs> but has been captured by this ass asshole called Gerald Sal, who is a little cockhead. So yeah, so now here we are in the actual safe house in the actual hub world of episode 4. And uh, nothing useful here. No idea where the temple lock is. Oh, freeze time around guards. So I guess Murray stole so it's like it was freeze ability. Okay. So yeah. I, I do we got a recreation of the panicking boss fight from Sly 1. Let's see which size we gain so instead of just porting the first three Sly Crew games, I just flag we make the first three games. That'd be awesome, but hey. I ain't broke to fix it, you know what I mean? So it looks like we got a slide job, a Bentley job, and a Murray job. One for each character. <laughs> okay, so next time let's play Sly 3 on a long fees. We shall be starting a cold alliance. So it's Borgana Who, and I'll see you next time. Later people.